Jonathan, we did it. MFA is finally enabled across the whole company. Amazing. About time, mind you. Yeah, except there's a bit of a problem. Most users are still using SMS for the MFA. Now, I've spoken to compliance this morning and they've said that SMS isn't secure enough. And they want us to move to pass keys or security keys, something like that. I've got people like Charles who refuses to install anything corporate on his phone. Doesn't Charles still use a Nokia phone? Excuse me. Before you start criticising my Nokia, remember this. Solid battery life, unbreakable construction and no distractions. Frankly, if it was good enough for Her Majesty's Communication Corps in 1997, it's good enough for me. <sighs> I mean, Charles is basically a walking security incident, isn't he? Yeah, Charles is bad. But he's not as bad as Angela in operations. Oh, no. What's up with Angela? Well, she won't even receive an SMS. Her MFA is tied to her landline at home. If she needs to log into Microsoft 365, her home phone rings and her husband answers it and authenticates her. Brilliant. Sounds more like multi-family authentication to me. I mean, it kind of works. As long as her husband's not out walking dog. Right, Jason. It's time to fix this properly. So let's talk about something that technically is progress, but it's still not good enough. A lot of businesses have finally rolled out multi-factor authentication, and that's great. It's a massive step forward from relying on just a password. But here's the problem. A lot of people are still using SMS for MFA and SMS for MFA isn't secure anymore. It can be fished, it can be spoofed, it can be intercepted and it's not considered strong enough by most compliance standards. So why do people still use it? Well, it's simple because some people don't want to install an app on their personal phone. And some businesses don't want to hand out smartphones just to run an authenticator app. So what's the alternative? Well, the answer is simple, a security key, or more specifically, a Fido2 passkey, like this one. A small, affordable device that's secure, fish resistant, and works without a phone. So what exactly is a Fido2 passkey and why is it better than text messages or authenticator apps? Well, think of one of these security keys like a digital version of your house key. You plug it into your computer or tap it onto your phone. And just like that, it proves who you are and who you say you are. There's no passwords needed. There's no codes. There's no waiting for a text message that may or may not arrive. It's quick, it's simple, and it's far more secure because there's nothing for attackers to fish, intercept, or steal. And best of all, of course, it doesn't require a phone or an app. So for businesses, that means there's absolutely no pushback from staff and no need to spend lots of money on company smartphones. Now, these keys cost between $30 and $40, so they're fairly cost-effective. Now, just to take a quick break from today's content, and I just want to give a quick shout-out to today's video sponsor, who is Admin by Request. Now, if you're an Intune admin and you're tired of juggling security and user productivity, this one is for you. Now, Admin by Request is a lightweight, endpoint privilege management solution that removes local admin rights without slowing users down. Now, it does this by giving users just-in-time elevation when they need it. Each request gets scanned by 35 plus anti-malware engines before it runs. There's no permanent admin accounts left sitting around and everything is logged for your compliance. Now, unlike Microsoft's own EPM, Admin by request supports offline use, real-time approvals. Plus, it integrates with your SIEM, IDP, and ticketing systems. It also works on Mac OS and Linux, not just Windows. Now, you can get started really easily with their free plan, which comes with all the features and no time limits. Check it out at adminbyrequest.com. I think I've spoken enough. 
and I think it's demo time. First of all, how do you enable your Microsoft 365 tenant to allow for these security keys? Let me show you. Okay, so the first step is logging in to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center with the correct privileges. So I'm logged in here as a global admin. You then need to go down to Admin Centers and Identity. Okay, once we're in here, enter ID. Scroll down to Authentication Methods. And this will give you a list of all the authentication methods that are allowed in your tenancy. Okay, the one I'm looking for here is the one at the top here. So it says pass keys and in brackets it says Fido 2. So this is already enabled, so I'm okay. And it's already targeted to all users. I can click in here. If you want, you can select certain groups if you're doing some kind of gradual rollout. So you can just target it at certain groups and you can exclude people and groups as well. We've also got a configure tab, and I think it's it's worth going through the options here. Firstly, we've got allow self-service setup. We want to leave this setting on, okay? This is what lets users register their own security key without IT doing it for them. Okay, and then we've got a couple of settings here. We've got enforce attestation, and below this, we've got enforce key restrictions. Now, these kind of work together. Let me explain. If you're a company and you're wanting to make sure that your users are only using approved keys, so perhaps as a business, you're buying a specific model of YubiKey and you're wanting all your users to use those as their Fido2 key. You don't want users going onto Amazon and buying what make and model they want. In that scenario, what you could do is switch this on, enforce attestation. This is telling Microsoft to check what kind of key is being used. So the manufacturer and what model it is. Then you can enforce key restrictions. And then you add the AA GUID of the specific key into here. So for tight control, you would enable them both. Please Microsoft check which key is being used and we are only allowing these keys, okay? I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna click no to these because it's just a demo. Once I'm happy, we will click on save, and now we are ready for our users to register their Fido2 key. Great, the Microsoft 365 is all ready. Now it's time for Charles to log in and register his new YubiKey as a new security method. After that, we'll look at the experience Charles gets when he logs into Microsoft 365 with his key. Let's go. Okay, so now Charles needs to set up his security key. Now he's going to be using this key here. It's a USB device. He simply plugs that into his computer or his laptop. And where the Y is in the middle of this key, this is where he presses his finger to authenticate. And we'll show you a little bit later how it works. So Charles is at the login screen now for Microsoft 365. He'll enter his email address, click on next, and he will enter his password. Click sign in. So at the moment, he's got MFA using Authenticator, which is fine. And that signs Charles in to Microsoft 365. So from here, he will go down to here and click on view account. And then he goes to security info and he can look at all his authentication methods registered on his account. So you can see he's got his password and he's got his multi-factor authentication, which is linked to his phone. So he wants to add a security key. So he simply clicks on add signing method. He clicks on security key and most of these Uber keys are simply USB devices. So he clicks on there just a prompt to say have your key ready fine we do click on next okay we click on okay we click on okay we get this prompt insert your security key into the usb port okay so we now need to enter a security pin which charles will do now he will click on okay and it's asking us to touch the key so we're touching it as i said earlier where that y is you can now use your security key to sign into login.microsoft.com Click on OK. We give this a name and click on Next. 
and we're all set, okay? What I'm going to do now is completely sign out and I'll show you what the login experience now looks like for Charles. I think you're going to like this. Okay, Charles is once again at the login screen. He will enter his email. Click on next. Now on this screen, it's going to ask him for his password. But now Charles is going to click on here. Use your face, fingerprint, pin or security key instead. So he's not entering his password. This is now popping up, so we need to enter the pin that we entered earlier. We've again got to touch the key. And that has logged Charles in. Now, as you can see, Charles didn't enter a password. This is part of Microsoft's passwordless strategy. Now, let me show you something else. So we've gone through that and Charles has logged in with a security key. We're now going to log in a third time. Back on the login screen, let's enter Charles' email address. Click on next. Can you see what happened there? We didn't get to the password screen at all. It's gone straight to the security key. Let me touch that again. So Charles is now logging to 365 using his email address and a secure Fido key. There's no passwords at all. Let me just switch over to the 365 admin center and I'll show you something. So we're in Enter, we're in Users, and I've selected Charles Bell. If I go down to Authentication Methods, you can see, look, System Preferred Multi-Factor Authentication. It's now defaulted to my Fido 2, okay? And you can see that the passkey has registered here. So as I said, when Charles is logging in, just his email address and his YubiKey. That sounds pretty secure to me. I don't envisage any problems. Or could there be a problem? Jonathan, slight complication. I appear to have left my YubiKey in a gastropub in Clapham. Yeah, of course you did. Look, when it happened, I just authenticated into Microsoft Teams, and then the Duck Comfit arrived. And then the sommelier appeared with a 2015 bottle of Bordeaux. Honestly, it was chaos. Now, how do I log in without this pesky key? Life was much easier with SMS and the Nokia. Charles, don't worry. I can get you logged in. I just need to create you a temporary access pass. Or tap, for short. Let me show you how. Okay, Charles seems to have temporarily lost his YubiKey, so he can't log in. So I'm in the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. If I go to Authentication Methods, you will see that I've got something enabled here called Temporary Access Pass. Okay? So you can go in there. I'm just showing you how it works. It's enabled. Uh, we can change some configuration here, but I want to show you how it works in the real world. Let's go to users. Let's go to Charles Bell. So Charles Bell is now on the phone. He's a little bit irate because he can't log in. Let's go to authentication methods, add an authentication method, and we're going to choose temporary access pass. Okay, we can select if it's a one-time use or not. We can delay the start time. I'm going to click on add. And now it gives us a temporary access pass that I can provide to Charles. Okay, this is how long it's valid for. So it's valid for an hour. First, you should have a process in your business to make sure the person on the phone who says they can't log in is in fact the person on the phone. Okay, let me just now, I've copied this. Let me head over to 365 login screen as Charles would see it. Here we are. I will get Charles to enter his email address. Okay, click on next. Look, it's defaulted to this. Enter temporary access pass. I will read this to Charles. He will click on sign in. And that would sign him in to 365. And remember that password actually expires. So what you're doing is providing some really good security for YubiKeys. You're getting rid of SMS MFA. And if there's a problem, if people you lose these YubiKeys, then you've got a perfectly good secure workaround. So now there is absolutely no excuse for anyone in your business to be using SMS as an MFA method. Make sure you move everyone over to some kind of fish resistant MFA like the security keys. Now, before I leave you today, again, a big thank you to today's video sponsor. 
who is admin by request. Admin by request is a lightweight endpoint privilege management solution. It removes local admin and doesn't slow users down. I've got an idea. Why don't you get started with their free plan? It comes with all the features, no time limits. Check it out at adminbyrequest.com. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Look forward to seeing you again soon.